Hello and welcome to Dave's Delightful Dishes. As always, I'm Dave and what a delight it is to be here today. And today we're going to continue this fall theme of, uh, and also for uh, my friends over at Flavor Chat, the soup theme. And today we're going to do a carrot and ginger soup. Now, it's something I quite like. I like the flavors of ginger. I like carrots. As we know, my wife doesn't, but this one's for me. My wife's out of town. This is my soup. So uh, we're going to start off with the uh, with our fall favorite, carrots. And I have a pound of carrots that I have peeled and chopped. And I just thought of this when I was done chopping a pound of carrots. I could have bought baby carrots and gone with a pound, you know, maybe even a pound and a half, depending on how much soup you're trying to make, um, and save myself a little bit of time. So don't make my mistake. Go ahead and get yourself some baby carrots. I have one onion, which I have chopped roughly. Uh, I went with a sweet onion, too. So it's uh, like a Vidalia. And then uh, three tablespoons worth of ginger, which I've peeled and chopped roughly. This is all going to get pureed later, but we want to have some chunks together here so it just doesn't disintegrate or burn. And then we have three and a half cups of vegetable broth. And olive oil. It'll be two tablespoons. Uh, if you did, I mean, you could do one tablespoon of butter and one tablespoon of olive oil. But I'm just, this, since this is basically a vegetarian dish, I'm just keeping it vegetarian across the board. And then salt and pepper. And then we'll talk at the end on what kind of things you might want to uh, you know, put on for the garnishes. But that'll be after we're done making the soup. And again, this is one of those nice dishes where everything is going to happen here on the stovetop. So we're going to see you over there to work inside my Dutch oven. So we've got this pot heating up nicely. I'm going to have it at medium heat. And we're going to add three tablespoons of olive oil. I'm sorry, not three tablespoons, two tablespoons of olive oil. Normally I pre-measure it, but there's only like five ingredients to this thing, so I didn't bother wasting or dirtying the dish. So there's two tablespoons. We're going to give that just a second to heat up before we add our onions. In go the onions. They're going to sizzle. And what we're going to do, just like you've seen me do in other dishes, we are going to be moving them around, getting them to sweat out, getting nice and translucent, and soften up before we move on to the next step. And that's going to be about five to six minutes. But you just want to keep moving them around. Don't just let them sit there. Get them covered in the oil. Let the heat do its job. Like I said, medium heat. And then I'm going to uh, keep going with this. And I will cut back to you once these onions are where they need to be. As you can see, things have started caramelizing up and the, the onions are translucent. And if I let this go too much longer, they're going to start browning out too much. So now we're going to add in our carrots and our ginger. And we're stir this together and we're going to let this go for another two minutes. But let's talk, well, you know, rather than me doing a cut scene, we'll talk while we're doing this. You want to keep things moving. And the next things we're going to, we're going to add, which I didn't show pre-measured because there was no point in the, with how little we're going to use, but I'm going to be adding a pinch of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper to this with our vegetable broth once these have uh, gone for about two minutes. So there, uh, all we're trying to do right now is just kind of wake up the smells of the, uh, of the, of the ginger and just start warming up those carrots because two minutes isn't going to be enough to make those soft, obviously, but we don't want to let them sit still because we don't want to burn the onions. All right, so that is getting a real nice fragrant aroma from the uh, from the ginger. I'm going to let this go for another 30 seconds, and then we're going to then we're going to add in our vegetable broth. But you see, the trick is you just keep things moving. All right, so. Here comes our broth. Here comes some fresh cracked black pepper or white pepper if you have it. And a pinch of salt. That's probably about a quarter to a half teaspoon, the way that I pinch, maybe just a tiny little bit more. We can always add more later, but it's hard to 
de-salt it. We're going to give this a stir. And we want to get this to the boil. So you're going to bring the heat up. You're going to make it boil. And then you're going to, once it, once it boils, then we're going to reduce the heat. We're going to put the lid on it. And we're going to simmer for about 30 minutes. And that should, at that point, the, the carrot should be completely tender. So heat is up all the way. And this is going to come to a boil, and I'm going to put a lid on it. But rather than having us all sit here watching water boil, I will cut, and we will be back once we're ready to turn this into our kind of soup. It has now been 20 minutes, and on my last stir check, the uh, carrots and everything are super soft. So we are good to go. Like I said, it can go anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes. Depends on, really, it depends on your stove and what temperature you were simmering at. But this is all now ready for our next step. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, turn the heat off for the moment. And I'm going to put in three tablespoons of, uh, co of, of coconut milk, full-fat coconut milk. One two, three, and we're also going to be doing something with the rest of it. Well, not the rest of it, but parts of the rest of it, so don't worry about it. Although I would probably, if you're going to make this dish, plan to have a little something else that you're working with as well so that you're not wasting a whole can of uh, coconut milk uh, just to just add a little bit to this for uh, extra flavor. So now I'm going to take my stick blender and do this very slowly and gently because the last thing in the world you want to do is end up with a face full of uh, boiling hot carrots. And we're going to bring this all together. Just get it all done. Now, if you don't have a stick blender, you can use a food, pro not food processor. You can use a regular blender, but you're going, to let, you're going to want to let this cool a little bit first so that you don't melt the plastic. What's nice about the stick blender is I can just sit here and do this right here. As you can see, if you go too long, it's it starts getting a little splattery. And this is supposed to be a pretty thick. I mean, not like, it's not a stew, it's a soup. But think gazpacho as far as your thickness. This is a vegetable soup, and it's supposed to be thick. And if, if we were adding regular cream, it might even thicken up more. But that's kind of what the coconut milk is there for. All right. So that has all come together. We're going to turn the heat back on, and we're going to let this reheat to a, just at a simmer for another five minutes. Heat back on. Going to get up to a simmer, then bring it to low, put the lid back on. And that's just the last step there. Now, you do want to taste this here just to see if you need to add pepper, salt, or any other flavor, but see if, in case it's lacking something. Yeah, and that's, uh, <laughs> that tastes really good. That is just about perfect. So we're going to get this up, back up the temperature. And let me uh, grab a fresh spoon. And you can see how thick that is. All right, I'm starting to see a little bit of action, so I'm going to drop this to low, put the lid on, and I will see you guys back in five more minutes for final plating. Okay, so normally this would be like the last shot of the thing where we're doing final pre presentation, but with what we're going to be doing with this soup by adding on the little garnishes, I'm actually going to do a vertical shot so you can watch me preparing it. But to explain why, we're going to add some more coconut milk in with this. And we're going to kind of do like almost like a cappuccino look. So I'm going to take some of this soup and get it into a bowl. And that looks and smells really, really good, by the way. And then you can add kind of whatever garnishes you like. I mean, today I'm going to be using um, chopped green onion, like really thin, like really thin sliced and some croutons. But you can add um, and then I'm going to add the, and I'm going to add the coconut milk. But you can also add uh, chia seeds, sliced almonds. I mean, sky's the limit, kind of whatever you want to put on there. Um, 
I don't want to overdo it because I kind of like just want to look at the look of the soup. But if you like it, you want to put it on, maybe a little bit of uh, grated cheese of some kind, whatever you like, you can add. So we're going to go to a vertical shot, and you're going to get to see how I'm going to play with this. But one thing we're going to show you first, to be able to, um, rather than drizzling it on with a spoon, since I have them, <laughs> this is a 5 milliliter sterile syringe. I use them when I'm building fishing rods, but it's medical grade. So now I can take this, fill it up with, um, with the coconut milk, and I can use that to add the coconut milk to the top of this, uh, to the top of this soup. See you in a moment. Okay, to dress this, I've got my little syringe, and we're just gonna kind of give it a little pop, couple of pops around. And then some bigger drops down the middle. And then I'm going to take a toothpick and I'm going to run the toothpick through all the dots. So we got a bunch of little hearts. Then we're going to add some croutons and a couple of uh, bits of chive or otherwise known as green onion where the hearts are not. And look at that, we've got quite a cute little, uh, cute little soup right there. You don't have to go this fancy. It's just easy enough for me to do, and I thought of it. I, I think it's going to add a little bit of extra for your, di for your dinner plating. And just like that, we have soup. I hope you guys try this dish. I mean, just the smell alone is enough to make me excited. This is really good. It's kind of, you know, being a root vegetable, it's kind of got a fall feel. But it also has kind of a, you know, foreign feel like it's something exotic with all that ginger and it smells amazing i'm sure it's going to taste amazing and i want you to try this at home too but let me know if you do and uh, leave me comments let me know what you think give me other things to try i am getting a nice selection of people uh, privately telling me uh, things to try out and i'm going to get to you all but keep on sending me more if you haven't already hit like and subscribe and tell your friends because this is more fun with more people I will see you all soon. Have a good meal and have a great day.